of the Big Ben. Amen. So we want to welcome you. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Uh, we talked to you last week about uh, celebrating our seventh anniversary, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that. Amen. So, happy seventh anniversary, NBC, yeah. and part two. So, those of you that are joining us by audio, video, we invite you to prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. So, church, prepare yourselves, grab your swords. Grab your Bibles and say it like you mean it. Amen. Here we go. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. That is good. That's a good confession. Amen. This is my Bible. This is my, this is the Word. Amen. And it's going to get in me because I want to go where God wants me to go. Amen. We're going to tell you the story here in a few minutes. But anyway, prepare yourselves to receive. God wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct us sometimes. He wants, He needs to correct us sometimes because uh, we haven't arrived yet. See yourself a learner and not a loser. Amen. Amen. You know, the world will see you as not qualified. The world will see you as uh, a loser, uh. as nobody. But God sees us. He says, I called you, I approved you, I equipped you, and you can do all things through me, he says. Yeah. Amen. So we need to see ourselves that way. Uh, Pastor Pat was talking to guys and he touched this. He says, we need to have a winner's attitude. Amen. Mm -hmm. We need to have a winner's attitude. Know who you are in him. Amen. Whose you are. Amen. Uh, we're going to talk about David because David knew when he, when he saw that giant, he knew. <laughs> I'm going to take you down. Amen. Uh -huh. You got to be battle ready. Yeah. David saw himself. He's only get up there to bring lunch to his uh, brothers. Next thing you know, he's in a battle right in the battle with, uh -huh. with, with the giants. <laughs> what about you? Amen. What about you when you go out? You know, be battle ready for God at all times. Amen. Part-time Christians are no match to a full-time devil. Amen. Amen. He is full-time. We need to remember that ourselves. We need to be full-time as well. Amen. So, hallelujah. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. And stay ready. And don't leave like you came. I want you to leave full of the word. Amen. Inspired. With a winning attitude. You know, going somewhere to happen for him. Amen. Amen. So, praise God. So, happy anniversary. Uh, New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Amen. So, praise God. We're going to, might repeat a few things we said last week. But we're going to start from here. Jesus commands his church to press on. Yeah. Amen. We're to press on. And uh, if you open your Bibles to uh, uh, Philippians chapter 3 and verses uh, 12 through 14, this is our text. And we're going to read it. Amen. We are going to read it. Just follow along. If you don't have a Bible, there's plenty of them back there. And Scott will be happy to give you one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Mine starts off between verses 11 and 12. Mine starts off with a high calling of God. Yeah. Do you know you have a high calling? Huh? You need to know this, you know, because if you just go by what your friend says, what the world says, mm -hmm. you'll see yourself as, <laughs> I'm not big enough. Mm -hmm. I'm not good enough. I'm not qualified to do what God has called me to do. Mm -hmm. First of all, you need to know that he has called you. You have a high calling of God on you. Man. And he's approved you and he's equipped you to send you on this mission. And verse 12 says, not as though I have already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which uh, also I am apprehended of Christ. Verse 13 says, brethren, I can't not myself to be, have um, uh, apprehended, but this one thing I do is forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth to those things which are before. And verse 14. So I, see we talked about this, about you personalizing your Bibles. <laughs> Where it says I, just cross that, scratch it out, right on your Bible. Yeah. Personalize it. It says Jose. Uh -huh. Okay, put your name there. Press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Remember that. You have a high calling. 
there's a lot of vision busters, there's a lot of uh, dream busters out there that are going to try to just bust your bubble. <laughs> Amen? Don't allow those things to happen. The Bible says to stand. And if you're going to stand, stand for him. Yeah. Amen. Stand your ground. You know the word and stand on the word. Amen. Yeah. And that's what we need to do. So God has commanded his church to press on starting our seventh year. And I want you to know that Jesus is still on the throne. Yeah. He is the head and we are the body. Yeah. The body of Christ, the church. Church family, brothers and sisters in Christ, one body, many parts. We need to get this. We need to get this. He is the head and we're the body. We are the church. We didn't come to church. We came to assemble ourselves together to hear the word of God, yes. to encourage one another, and to go out and be filled with the word so we can go out and yes. minister to people. Amen. Amen. And let people know about Jesus. Amen. A lot of people don't know salvation. You need salvation. You need him before you go yes. to heaven. Uh, John 14 says, says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. Yes. And they need to know this. And when they receive salvation, you know, they are free to go to the Father. Amen. Yes. They are free to go. So praise God. And we need to get the word to them. Amen. We're to go. So each one sep uh, separate, gifted, different. Be available and participate, not spectate. Be yourself. Be the original God called you to be. Amen. Let me read it to you from the NIV. It says, not that I have already attained all this. I have already arrived at my goal. But I press to take hold of that for which Christ, uh, Jesus, took hold of me. Yes. Brothers and sisters, I have not considered myself yet that I have taken hold of it. But one thing I do is forgetting uh, what is behind and press on. I press towards the goal for the winning of the prize for which Christ, uh, God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. So we're to forget, forget the past mm -hmm. and press on with new things in him. Amen. Yeah. So whatever happened yesterday is gone. It says yeah. there's new worries in today. I don't need to worry about yesterday. Yeah, right. Amen. I need to press on. Amen. Amen. Yes. And cast all those other things on him yeah. and not bring it up again. Yeah. Yeah. I need this because uh, I'm not expecting that call. I wanted to reach you something <laughs> from there. <laughs> Nothing is going to stop us from reaching our goal. Amen. So say goodbye to failure, setbacks, defeats, and the past. Yeah. Amen. And these dream busters I was talking about, sometimes it's family, sometimes it's friends, sometimes it's people you know. No. They're going to remind you of your failures, your setbacks, your defeats, and the past. And the enemy is going to try to put uh, thoughts in your mind about some of these things. And you're to say, you know what? <laughs> I need to renew my mind with the Word of God. And just clean it out, wash it out, give yourself a spiritual bath and press on. Amen. If he can forgive, if God if God can forgive and forget, so can we. Yes. Amen. And press on. I refuse to be satisfied with just average. You know, everybody wants you to say, hey, I just want to straddle the fence, you know. <laughs> be average. That's good enough. Second best, mediocre, lukewarm. I just want to be lukewarm, you know. I don't have to be too hot. No, I want to be too cold. I just want to be lukewarm. Well, God says, I'll spit you out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? If I choose between cold and hot, I'm going to choose to be hot for God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. I tell you what, Jesus was hot when he was here on earth and he was going towards the cross. He knew since he came that he was going to be yeah. crucified, mm -hmm. that he was going to be sacrificed. It's God's best, best or nothing at all. So God gave his best, Jesus gave his best, and we're to give our best. Guess what? We're starting a new year. <laughs> Lord, I'm giving you my best this seventh year. Amen? On a daily basis, I just thank you for this new day that you have given me, and I'm going to give you all my best. Amen? Mm -hmm. Praise God. The body of Christ, one body, many different parts working together, serving together in unity. Mm -hmm. Jesus says in Matthew 20 and 28 that the Son of Man, the Son of God, came not to be served, but to serve. Mm -hmm. So he showed us. He's the greatest example we ever had. If, yeah. he, if Jesus can serve, so can we. Whatever it is, big or small, you say, well, if it's big, I'll do it, you know, because I want to be recognized. Well, what if it's something small, you know? You pick something up, you know, or just dust it off or just kind of sweep that, you know, or just say hi to somebody. We can do all these things. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ. Yes. If he told you to do that, you know, then do it. Lord, I'm 20. 
closest thing to you. I'm a child of God. I'm the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever see. Yeah, amen. Because they'll never step into the church, but they'll see me out there. Yeah. Amen. That's my mission field. That's your mission field. Wherever you happen to be, that's your mission field. Amen. You're the child of God, and they see that. People are watching. <laughs> people oh, yeah. are watching. People are watching. They may not say anything. You know, I know I have a lot of people. I have a lot of friends on uh, Facebook, and they may never say anything on my timeline, but I know they're watching. Amen. And I know they're watching, amen? And I only post <laughs> the Word of God on there, okay? Amen. <laughs> 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 Serving each other in unity. The body of Christ we're called to encourage, complete one another, and not compete, criticize, or judge. We are to complete and not compete. Remember that. <laughs> Complete one another yeah. with his love. Yeah. Amen. In 1 John 4, 8 says that God is love. Yeah. If you know your God, you know that God is love. Yeah. Amen. And we're supposed to be imitators of him. Oh, boy. We're to imitate him mm -hmm. and be that love and compassion to go. And I'm going to read you this. Is we're going to let his love and his compassion. And that's where I brought this. And I'm going to read it to you here in a few minutes. But I put a scripture back this morning. And um, and it goes like this. I know some of you have already probably already read it to you, but it says scripture break. Don't see others through your eyes only. See them through the eyes of Jesus with love and compassion. What we see when watching others depends on the clarity of the windows through which we look. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I will read you another story that I po posted about this couple who just moved into a new neighborhood. Mm. <laughs> and they're sitting down drinking coffee in the morning and the lady, the wife, sees this lady next door, the neighbor, putting out her laundry. And she says, wow, she needs to learn how to do laundry because that laundry looks dirty. So the next day, <laughs> the same thing. She sees the laundry up on the, hand, the, the line and she says, Husband, look, this lady needs to learn how to wash clothes. You know, she's not washing well because the clothes look dirty. So she goes on for a while. And one day, <laughs> they're sitting down, uh, looking again, drinking coffee and looking again. And the wife says, well, the wife says, wow, she learned how to do her laundry. The laundry looks clean. Mm -hmm. The husband says, no. She says, I went out and washed the windows. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> what about us? How are we seeing people? And what's coming out of our mouth? Mm -hmm. You have to be careful how you see people. Mm -hmm. Remember John 3 16, for God so loved the world. Yes. <laughs> Amen. He hates sin, but he loves sinners. Uh -huh. He died for all of us. Some of us have not accepted Christ yet. Amen. How do we see them? Do you think that you're more highly than them because you're saved and going to heaven and they're not? It's our responsibility to get the word to them so that they can have that opportunity to say yes or no. And if they say yes, they can change. Amen. And, and be imitators of Christ. Amen. So she was sitting there just saying, hey, you know, that's dirty, that's dirty, that's dirty. We see the world through his eyes on a daily basis and see the good yes. and not just the bad. See the love, have the love and compassion of Christ as we go out in our mission fields because you're going to see things that you might say the wrong things. And be careful. We're going to talk about the mouth here in a few minutes. <laughs> so God is love. Agape love. Unconditional love. Amen. So remember, that's the highest love you can have is unconditional love. For God so loved the world, and God they love, that he gave his only son. Yes. So we're going to have love and compassion working in us, through us, and to share that. Amen? Yes. So his love is the glue that keeps his body of believers working together in unity. Yes. That keeps us just the love of God. You know, when you love that, have that love and compassion of God. It keeps us growing stronger and keeps us together. Amen? Amen. It's not about comparing about what you do, about what you don't do, or how big or how small you serve. It's just about having love for one another 
and encouraging one another, saying, hey, brother, hey, sister, you can make it. Amen. You can make it. You can do all things through Christ. Yes. And give a good word instead of a down word. Never down anybody. Mm -hmm. Amen. Leave them with a high note. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Church, stay in combat ready. We fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. Stay prepared physically and spiritually. Yes. Cheating or lacking on training shows on your results. Mm -hmm. Amen. You see these teams that play all the time? If they practice, <laughs> it'll show. Yeah. The choice is yours. Spend time with him. Study. Meditate. <clears throat> There's no room for laziness. No. Or lukewarmness. Right. Amen. Because the flesh always wants to have its way. Oh, yeah. Give no place to the enemy. Second uh, Timothy 2.15 2, uh, 2 says, Study, you study, to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, <laughs> rightly dividing right. the word of truth. Amen? Right. Yeah. So we, we must be well prepared. Our goal is to be well prepared yeah. and battle ready. If you don't know this, you need to know this now. You fight a spiritual battle daily. Yeah, you are yeah. no match to the enemy mm -hmm. if you're in the flesh. You got. You have to use the word. Yeah. If you're not using the word of God, you lose. Mm -hmm. So we need to get the word in us so that the word can come out of us. Yes. Amen? And don't not to hold it in, but to get it out. And I, here's where uh, I was going to talk to you about David and Goliath. <laughs> they, uh, Jesse told his son, David, go bring lunch to your brothers. And the brothers are battling against this giant over here. And David only, his mission was to bring lunch. Yeah. Next thing you know is David is battle ready at all times because he's, <laughs> uh, I take care of my sheep. Yeah. And the bear comes and the lion comes and I'm ready. Mm -hmm. And he went to bring lunch to his brothers. And next thing you know is, <laughs> who is this guy? <laughs> who is this guy? uncircumcised Philistine yeah. talking about my God like this. He was ready. He was battle ready. Amen. He had his lens shot. All he needed to do was grab a few stones on the way. He says, I'm going to have you. He says, today I'm going to chop your head off. Amen. But what was he was going for? What was his mission? His yeah. mission was to just bring you to his brother. So what about us every day when we meet with God on a daily basis is Get yourselves ready because when you go out there, you better be better ready. Yes. Because if not, the world's going to have you quick. Uh -huh. Quick. Yeah. <laughs> we just went through uh, San Antonio and, uh, yeah. and Houston. <laughs> and you better be uh, traffic ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. As far as you can see, we was backed up. I said, oh, my God. You got to have lots of patience. <laughs> There's two of us driving. Patricia and me. She's sitting over there, and I'm over here. And she's doing good driving. I say, oh my gosh, she's wearing out her shoes over there, stepping on the floor. I say, oh, cool. But David was ready. Are you ready? Every day, on a daily basis, as you step out into your mission field. Amen. I said, well, I'm... The enemy's not giving up. Right. Are you are you giving up? Are you going to quit? Uh -huh. Have the full armor. David had his armor on. Yes, he did. Amen. We need to have our armor on. Mm -hmm. Study and pray it up. Yeah. That's right. Press it on. Mm -hmm. No place for the enemy. That's right. Life is not a sprint. It's a marathon. So we need patience. Starters must be finishers. Patience needed. We don't quit. Right. You know, how many opportunities Jesus had to just say, I want to quit. Yeah. But what do you do? He got with the Father and said, Lord, I need your help. I need your strength. I need you. How, how about us? We need him on a daily basis. I need you more. We just saying that. We need, I need you more, Lord. <laughs> on a daily basis, I need your help. I need you more and more. Amen. Jesus had opportunities to quit. He didn't say that, but he sp he spent time with the Father. <laughs> he was a, a, a earthly man. <laughs> Amen. So he was a man just like us. Flesh and blood. So he was going through some of the things that we go through. Amen. Every day, before you step out to face your worldly James, 
Go through your spiritual workout. Go to the Father, spend time with Him. Go, go and spend time with Him. And say, Lord, I need you. And you put on your whole full armor. Amen. Spiritual workout, stir up that awesome power of God in you. It's in there. But you got to stir it up. Yeah. And you got to know that you have authority. Use the authority Amen. God has given you. Yes. You know, Hallelujah. it's not just going to come out. You got to know and say, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not going to take this anymore. I'm not going to live in your lives anymore. You got to step out. You got to yes. come out of your boat. Say, hey, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready for you. You know, to submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. What's he going to do? He's going to flee. <laughs> so press on, child of God. Amen. Amen. Remember that you're a tribe being. Spirit, soul, and body. Spirit. Yes. Prayed up. Study. Yes. Full armor of God on. Amen. Stood up for God. Amen. Soul, mind, will, emotions. Renewing your mind to the word of God. The world tells you you're not good enough. Mm. Amen. The enemy's feeding you all this information mm -hmm. about, you know, you're, not, you're, you're no good. You're a failure. You're a loser. You say, well, I got to renew all this. You know, I'm a new creature in Christ. I can do all things through Christ. I'm a winner. Amen. I'm a champion. Yes. I'm an overcomer. Amen. Press on, press on, press on, press on. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the body, well, the body, <clears throat> Bible tells us, the spirit and, and the flesh, they battle each other. I'm going to read it to you here in a few minutes. They battle each other. Uh -huh. The flesh, he says, crucify. Yes. <laughs> flesh, you just hush up. Oh, boy. <laughs> Feed your spirit the word of yes. God. Renew your mind with the word of God. Mm -hmm. And flesh, be crucified. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Psalms 23 says, <clears throat> Though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Though I walk through the valleys, though I walk through the storms, though I walk through giants or the cares, he is with me. Amen. Lord is with me. He said he never leaves me or forsakes me. I know this now. <laughs> So guess what? You want to fight me? Come on. You know who's, on, you know who's with me. You know who's backing me. Yes. You know who's with me. Yes. Know he's backing you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Isaiah 54, 17 says, No weapon for me against me shall prosper. Right. Amen. I don't care what you bring on, devil. Say, your weapons ain't no good here. Mm -hmm. Amen. I tell you, I've got the name. I've got the blood. I've got all these things. Weapons I can use against you. Yes. Amen. And we remember, the main thing is, you got to know you're fighting a defeated foe. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Ephesians 6, uh, 10 through 18, you read this, it talks about putting on the full armor of God. Oh, yeah. The armor's there for us. Amen. Yes. Praise God. So Galatians 5, 16 through 18, you can go there. Turn your Bibles there. Galatians 5. Hallelujah. Wait for me. Galatians 5. And verses uh, 16 through 18. <clears throat> 16 through 18. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye may not consume one another. This I say, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to another, yeah. so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Amen? So be ye uh, led of the spirit, and ye are not under the law. Mm -hmm. So praise God. So <laughs> walk in the spirit, and, for, and, and, and you're fine, you're well. Amen? Mm -hmm. So... Woo, hallelujah. Let me read it to you from the easy to read Bible. So I tell you, live the way the Spirit leads you, and then you will not do the evil things your sinful self wants. <laughs> 17. The sinful self wants what is against the Spirit, and the Spirit wants what is against the sinful self. The flesh and the Spirit are always fighting against each other yeah. so that you do not do what you really want to do. Uh -huh. But if you are led by the Spirit, and led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Right. So remember this. Amen. Amen. You know that if you just don't meditate on the Word, you don't read the Word, you don't spend time with Him, next thing you know is you're falling into 
the world. You're falling back yeah. and you're fulfilling what the flesh wants. Yeah. The flesh is calling for just take it easy, sit mm -hmm. down, do nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it's time to study. No, we're just going to kick back mm -hmm. and do nothing. <laughs> no, it's time to study when it's time to study. Cheating, lacking, of uh, training on your spiritual workout will show on your daily race. Mm -hmm. Okay? Instead of being bad already, you're going to be weak. Mm -hmm. So we don't want that. Mm -hmm. Having on the full armor of God is your choice. Strong or weakness is your choice. Life or death is your choice. Yeah. God has given us his word, so we need to do what the word of God says. Yeah. But it's still our choice to do. Amen? So praise God. We need to get in there and do what we need to do. Yeah. Proverbs 18, 21 from the Easy to Read Bible says this. The tongue can speak words that bring life or death. Mm. Those who love to talk must be ready to accept what it brings. Mm. Because it's going to bring something. Words are carriers of life and death. Wow. Words are sown, and whatever it brings, if you've been speaking bad, it's going to bring bad. If you've been speaking good, it's going to bring good. Mm -hmm. So you got to be ready for what it brings. Mm -hmm. But it, you're the one that's sowing it, and you're the one that's going to reap it. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful. Sometimes we put a, put a guard and not say those things that we want to say. Well, I just have to say it. Well, you didn't have to say it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things. The Bible tells us a lot of times where Jesus never said anything. Yeah. He just held this word. Mm -hmm. He didn't say what he wanted to say. Maybe he was wondering, thinking about saying something negative, but he didn't. Mm -hmm. He held this word. Amen. Amen. So we need to know when we hold our words. Mm -hmm. Other spiritual weapons are available to us. I said a few minutes ago, the word of God, the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus, and Philippians uh, Two and ten talk about every knee will bow. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise and worship him. Paul and Silas. <laughs> you know, they just got beat and put in a dungeon way underneath. Mm -hmm. And yet, while they were talking together, instead of uh, agreeing to just say some sad things and bad things about Christ, they chose to praise him. Mm -hmm. And they praised him. And you know what? Jesus heard them. And release them. Amen. Yeah. Release them. So praise yeah, God. God. So praise and worship is a good thing. Give him thanks. Give him praise at all times. Amen. Yeah. Prayer. There's no distance in prayer. Right. You know, you see things on TV because the media we have nowadays, you can see things all the way across the world. Yeah. You know, say instead of saying, you know, well, you know, I can't do anything about it. You see it through the love and compassion and say a prayer for them. Amen. There's no distance in prayer. And prayer works if you pray. Amen. Yes. And here, and listen to this, praying in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Some of us maybe forgot about this, but we need to pray in the spirit at all times. Mm -hmm. Building yourself up. Amen. Yeah. Just you, between you and him. And know he knows what you're saying. The power of our testimony. There's power in testimony. Some of us don't want to share a testimony, but mm. the Bible tells us in Revelations that they overcame by the word of the Lamb and the, the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So your testimony is, is great. It's powerful. Mm -hmm. When he tells you to share it, share it. Because it's going to minister to somebody. It's going to set somebody free. Yes. Amen? That is a powerful, powerful uh, word. Amen. Nothing can stop you now, especially the enemy. He is a defeated foe. The devil cannot make you do anything unless you allow him. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Not spending the time, not fellowshipping with God will weaken you. Mm -hmm. And you'll start falling. And your defense is down. And you're no longer standing. Mm -hmm. Okay? And your shield is down. Your armor yeah. is, you're letting your armor off. You're taking your armor off. Yeah. And next thing you know is you're starting to be just like the world. So the best thing to do is give him no place. And guard your words. Words are powerful. Jesus, God spoke this world into existence just by words. That's how powerful words are. Yeah. Amen. So if the words are that powerful, we need to be more selective of what we say, the things we say. Put a guard on it. Use faith-filled words mm -hmm. only. Amen. You have a choice to release them or hold them. Amen. 
So be careful. Remember using your authority, just like David, we talked about David. Just like Paul and Simon said, you said, where is they sunk to? Mm -hmm. You know? And it touched them and released them to whatever situations you're in. You know? You say, Lord, I need for you. And you worship him and you thank him. Or he can release you from whatever is holding you back. Amen. Amen. Philippians 4 13 says, I can do some things through oh, Christ. Things. <laughs> I can do I, I, I. You can put mm -hmm. your name on there. Yeah. Use your name. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I can do all things through Christ who yeah. strengthens me. I need his strength, but I can do it all. Why? Because he's put me on this mission to fulfill, mm -hmm. to complete, and not be a, a loser, but to be a champion and fulfill what he's yeah. called me to do. Mm -hmm. Every one of us, if, if you're still alive, God has a calling on you. Mm -hmm. Maybe you haven't accepted him yet, but he's got a calling on you. If you haven't accepted him yet, it's time to just say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And start living for him. Start going for him and say, you have a mission for me. I want to fulfill this mission. We've already failed in every which way. Now it's time to be a winner for him. Amen. Go to, go, go be a blessing to somebody. Praise God. First John 4 and 4 says, greater is he that's in us than he that is in the world. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Greater is he that is in us. He is in you. This is the temple. Body. The, word, the word tells us this body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> also tells us this body don't belong to you. <laughs> You've been bought. <laughs> That's right. We belong to him. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Amen. The only thing that can stop you is you. Yeah. <laughs> I told you last week. I told you before. <laughs> When you look in the mirror, that's your biggest enemy right there. <laughs> that he can stop you, or she can stop you. <laughs> he can stop. Amen. Don't let him stop you. That's right. You can stop yourself by quitting. Mm -hmm. You can stop yourself by giving up. Yeah. You can stop yourself by the words you speak. Or you can stop yourself with your associations, your distractions. Mm -hmm. Those that hang around you. Yeah. I haven't told you this in a while, but you know, you hang around skunks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're going to smell like the world. You're going to smell like a skunk. You got to be careful. You know, when you go out and you come in, or maybe not even wait till the end of the day, but give yourself a spiritual bath. Praise the Lord. Just renew your mind. Renew your mind with the word. Amen. Amen. Renew your body. Renew yourself and stay hooked up to the source. Amen. Because your associations, your distractions are dream busters. Oh, yeah. They're mission busters. Mm -hmm. They're vision busters. Mm -hmm. They're going to stop you. And the enemy, if you're not born again, the enemy is going to use anybody he can mm -hmm. to try to stop you. Some of these associations yeah. might be someone you call friends. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful. Give God your best. You're a winner. Don't settle for anything less. Don't let anyone or anything stop you. Press on. Heaven is our goal. Yeah. He has called you, approved you, and equipped you. Amen. See yourself this way. Yes. If you're not seeing yourself this way, it's time you got to know your God. Because you have a high calling. And he's approved you. Don't wait for the world of, uh, world's approval. Mm -hmm. He's approved you. And if it's only him, that's enough. <laughs> if you're... It, 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 uh, that's just going to leave it there. <laughs> Amen. Galatians 5, 7 and 9. You read well. Who hindered you? from obeying the truth. This persuasion does not come from him who calls you. A little leaven leavens the whole lump. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Let me read it to you from the easy to read version. You were doing well. What caused you to stop following the truth? Mm -hmm. It's uncertainly, it's, it certainly wasn't the one who chose you. Be careful, just a little yeast makes the whole batch of dough rise. 
Let me read you the footnote that says, <laughs> in Galatians 5, 9, it says, rise <laughs> is a proverb, meaning that a small thing like a little wrong teaching can make a big problem. Oh, or that just one person can have a bad influence mm. on the whole lump. Oh, my man. man. Remember this. Mm. Amen. Don't allow these distractions. Don't allow this person, these things to come mm -hmm. and say things to you. That's why it's so important that you meditate the word, know the word, know get the word, word in you, get yeah. the fears out. And don't accept just anything somebody tells you. That's right. Because That's right. it's the popular thing going around. Mm -hmm. And this is what so and so says. Mm -hmm. But so and so, can you give me a scripture about this? Mm -hmm. Well, no. It's just a hot thing that everybody's accepting everybody's passing out mm -hmm. and everybody's accepting it well <laughs> it's going to stop here because Amen. i'm not receiving it and you don't have a scripture for it forget it i'm not taking it i'm not receiving it you remember that leaven says to rise to mingle altering transforming mm -hmm. so we must be careful amen and in closing amen <laughs> Careful when you mingle with the world, with your associations mm -hmm. or your distractions. They will stop you. They will yeah. change you. Yeah. They will alter you. They yeah. will transform you. Uh -huh. So know whose side you're on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stay put and stand. When you know your God, when you know the word, mm -hmm. he says, when you've done all that you've done to yeah. do, stand. Stand. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stand. Amen. Because this is what God wants me to do. This is what the word of God tells me to do. So I'm going to stand and I'm standing on him. I'm yes. standing with him. Amen. Yes. Praise God. And of course, uh, I'll read you once again the, uh, the text. Philippians 3, 12 through 14. I'm going to read it to you from the easy to read version. It says, I don't mean that I'm exactly, I'm exactly what God, uh, God wants me to be. I have not yet reached the goal, but I continue trying to reach it and make it mine. Mm -hmm. That's what Christ Jesus wants me to do. Mm -hmm. It is the reason he made me his. Brothers and sisters, I know that I still have a long ways to go, mm -hmm. but there is one thing I do, forget what is in the past and try as hard as I can to reach the goal for me. Mm -hmm. I keep running hard towards the finish line to get the prize that is mine because God has called me through Christ Jesus to live up in heaven. Mm -hmm. So let's don't let nothing stop you from reaching our goal. Amen. From reaching your goal. Mm -hmm. Amen. If it's not of God, let it go. Amen. I'm not here. Uh, I, I, I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. I got better things. He wants to bless me. <laughs> he wants to wants me to press on. That's what we're going to do. We're going to keep pressing on with him. Amen. Mm -hmm. So yeah. praise God. Do you receive it, church? Yes. Amen. Yeah. So do I. Amen. This was just for me. Yes. And you can say the same thing. Oh, that was just for me. Thank you, God. <laughs> praise God. That's, amen. That's, that's all we got. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God.